Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S in 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you a pretty neat trick. And this is actually a money-saving trick that you can use with your new iPhone or iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus. And it basically involves turning off a feature called Wi-Fi Assist. And Apple recently introduced this. Um, it's useful if you have weak Wi-Fi. And basically what the phone will do is it will also use the carrier signal. I have T-Mobile, it will pick up T-Mobile LTE, LTE and kind of boost your Wi-Fi strength or boost the strength of the network that you're using. However, the problem with this is it, it actually uh, can carry you over your monthly data limit, which will cost you money. And I found that out the hard way when all of a sudden I was getting these um, warnings from T-Mobile that I was uh, running, I, I used up all my data and Wi-Fi assist was to blame. So you have to turn it off, here's how to do it. Uh, go to your home screen, press the settings icon, it looks like a bunch of gears. And then look for the uh, look for the item that says cellular. Some other carriers might have a slightly different name, but basically it's where you go to change all the um, cellular settings for your for your, for whatever carrier you're using. Uh, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile. Uh, I don't even remember what it is up in Canada, but you, you know what you you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, there's a screen with all these settings. It's at the very bottom. It's kind of hidden there, and you have to wonder: Is this deliberately put there so you can't find it? Wi-Fi Assist. Turn it off. And you can see it says automatically use cellular data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. The problem is, you know, you might be in a different part of your house where the Wi-Fi signal is weak, but you can still use your phone. So you don't need any assist. And um, unless you really have a problem with Wi-Fi, I do not recommend using Wi-Fi assist because, as I said before, it will really eat into your, uh, your monthly data charges, and that's not really good. So uh, that's how to s turn that off. For more great tips on how to use your iPhone, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, check out my book at in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.